They have that ability to branch off in either direction. We'll see what's going to happen here as Baby Bay again is fast up. Big He's taking a shock dart down to 60 HP. Goes to shut the door and wants to come down the back Any stairwell. Kill. Waiting for him is Skadoodle, but despite the fact that the flash was late, it doesn't matter. Baby Bay kidding? is chewing apart the team currently playing <laughs> defense on the B site. I'm not sure if that was a light Spike armor planted. buy that resulted in such fast deaths for the two members of T1 that were playing B-side defense, but I do feel like if you don't find a kill soon, you need to back off and save as it's a 3v4, but you don't really have much to fight with. The buy coming through on that first full buy round is often somewhat awkward. They need to find that opener now. Yeah, the retake is starting. It. Rax is here at the spawn side, and they're all there, actually. So this is a big position that's going to have to come from Market. And as he peeks out, Marv gets picked, and Spider, a man of the hour, yesterday Giant on these retake man. plays on a set, will try to move forward. He gets a triple kill into this round, leaving Corey the last man standing. They overtake the site. They are able to get the defuse, and that is well Doodle to be in a weird position. There's the dash away. This is now their opportunity to get site control, and there's that crossplay that we were just talking about. Spider holding down the switch, trying to get the cross. Now, unfortunately for Spider, Rockus is there for an immediate trade. The op is in position as well. Oh, no! Baby Bay cycling that scope back and forth, debating on shooting through the wall, gets the quick scope Spike planted. onto the unintended target, who goes for a quick peek, and it doesn't work out so well. It's a four on three now. Bays with, again, the player advantage, but we saw what happened last time that was the case. Zachary gets caught off guard as the timing does not work out well for him. Marv is now trapped on catwalk. There's one coming through from tree and one coming up from short. He's got the angle on the first target. Skadoodle's got him locked into position now, but they still haven't made a move onto the site. They need to get closer and closer. They need to try and take away that door. That is a massive paranoia as that pretty much solidifies the round. You can see them already backing off. They realize there's no way they're going to get into it. They got to save the guns. So it will be four in the chat. Uh, that's that's my, my my thing. If you spam four, I'll love you forever. Missed shot from Baby Bay as they 30 seconds spot left. one backside site. It was Brax hopping around. There's the Hunter's Fury coming out. And a ping as well given away here. Rockus is looking to line some shots up as that lightning oh course out. God. Baby Bay with the quick flick yet again. Has to go for a fresh magazine, but it doesn't matter. T1's been reduced to two. One's on the other side of the door, and one's coming through from heaven. It's AZK. Baby Bay finds three on the round. AZK had an opportunity there, as both targets did start to happening here. If T1 can try and wake up a bit, as FaZe continues to stomp through, they're running into this B site with a slower take than we've seen from them before. That's the big kill you hope to see from Skadoodle as the knives come out, and he connects onto the face of Baby Bay. In the backside of sight, it's AZK with a pistol. And despite the fact that this is not exactly the greatest of rounds coming in for T1. Planted. They've still got it down to this. It's a two on yeah. three. Leaping across, you've got Skadoodle. He's picked up an op now. Shock darts going out from Dazed. But I don't think Skadoodle has any intention of going for this one. He's saving yeah. that op. At 34 HP, no need. I mean, we always commend how good T1 is on an eco with the shares, but they got to get the better angles and, and the first kills going through. But when you surrender a site throughout the process, being able to pick up an operator is a big win for them right now. So days in the end, you want to do a little bit more damage as, uh, as much as you can versus FaZe. I mean, Silence. that economy has been built to the long two right now and for the attacker managing. side because they're just dominating in, in a lot of situations when they have three or four players alive. So uh, to have to have them still make it out with two, pretty decent for T1. Saving it. There's saw on them initially, and the hopes were, okay, over time, this team will only get better, but they just plateaued. They didn't change. They didn't... They didn't really grow from that point. This is one of the bigger games we've seen from them in a while. And it's a nice start for them as well. A good crossfire from Spider and Brax results in the death of Marv. We just talked about it, one of their key players. They're going to continue to try to push towards this A site where you've got Baby Bay now going in first, up in hand. Look at the amount of bodies built up currently in Garden. There's a nice flick from Baby Bay yet again. There is no one else on site. Everyone's playing towards Garden. And that's why Rockus is able to peek out and take care of Brax. Now Spider is there with the backup. AZK getting one through the smoke. It's come down to a two on three. T1 in the control position. Nice dig shot coming up from AZK. This A sign. Let's see how T1's going to hold it. Baby Bay trying to fly in with the knives out. Not prepared for Days, who's just waiting around the corner. Now Days gets caught off guard, but it's a back and forth volley that brings things to this. A three on two, spikes down on sight. Rockus, that's unfortunate timing. Tries to peek out wide, ends up taking a fall, Humpty Dumpty style. We're not going to be able to put him back together again. It's Corey now, left alone. I like the move. 
shut the door and go on the other side. But there's a target right to his right, and AZK is not fooled. They're honest there, so you're looking for lots of trades happening on this mid side. Smoke goes down from Baby Bay to try to escape. There's Corey with the pickoffs in mid. We profiled Corey coming into this one. It's been lights out for FaZe all tournament mm. long. Gets two before being taken out. Baby Bay is going to sneak around the edge of this and is likely going to get the kill on the Dazed. The timing almost worked against him. As you can see, Dazed was starting to turn back. Mm -hmm. But with the low HP, it was still pretty much a guaranteed kill. Rax moving in. I think he thinks he saw the hand, and he did. You can see it for a second, and yeah, there's the drop off after the shots come through. Page three. Two on three. The recon dart comes out. They're grouping up currently inside B main. Tripwire coming out from Brax. There is one playing up on mid currently. Rockus is going to use the Al drone to go in first. Might be able to spot this first player. Do they anticipate Brax though, who's already pushed all the way up? Perfect. No, this is really well played. It's all going to come down to the timing though. Can he get the kill? onto this player market or spawn left. without being spotted Foolish. by the other. So there's the first one he needed. Back steps another, but he's got the best shot onto Rockus. It's gonna come down to this one on two now. It's Mar. Ult available, full HP, no armor. Spike goes down in the B site. Shadows traveling. Smoke to come out here as Marv is creeping on the sidewalk. You have T1 watching both angles, so it's going to be two individual one versus ones. He gets the dink in the headshot on Tiska Doodle. Back to a one versus one where Cypher peeks out, and he almost got caught, but Marv was reloading in the pro. Each trigger. Have things at a four on four. Got that one way Cyber Cage on B main. And that one lands a little bit deeper than you'd hope. Tiska Doodle, in the meantime, has picked yeah, off Corey as well. That's a serious threat for the likes of FaZe now watching from the sidelines. Skadoodle pulls the knives out and wants to go into this site potentially. There's the flash coming out. You can hear the updraft getting vertical so he can check the boathouse cool. in the back of site. Not sure if he saw that player there. It's up to Baby Bay, who's trying to lock this position down, getting spammed now through the cloud burst. Picked off one as they made their way through, but there's a player on the site that needs help with some help. Landing. And he's not going to get it in time. It's down to just one now. It's their Sova, Rockus. Coming through from spawn slope. Left. Up to the barrels now. The Al drone gonna spot out the position. To run. There's the ult as well coming out from Days. He's trying to dodge the pulses. Sealed it one. Will not spot Zachary that's moving up towards that back ramp. So that plant's gonna come through forward. Spike and planted. Spider's gonna be in a hidden spot where yes, it's an obvious spot, but still very tough to take down as a retake on a defender side. One enemy remaining. Nice paranoia coming through. Corey is there with at least the trade. Now they know that the breach charge came through from underneath, so Corey's and looking for that last that. target. Now he's found it. There's the Leer coming out to get across. Recon Dart's going to give away the position. Getting shot from both sides now, potentially, as he goes for the Leer. Able to isolate that 1v1. This is getting sketchy. Now he is down to 54 HP, has to tap the spike, has to take the fight. There's the jump peak from Daze. Well played oh. as Daze gets around the corner and Corey decides to run away. Daze will even... Yeah, that's really well played from Daze. Just a little bit Ten of a bait. I like this updraft from Baby Bay. Getting up vertical over the short walls to try and spot them out. The fights are favoring FaZe currently as Baby Last Bay tries to fly in. Day. AZK Last with just an SMG. Day. It's all down to Brax, who's found himself too. I know exactly Three on the round and there's are. one more target in his way. It's going to be Corey, who's sitting on full HP. Uses the Leer to get out. Sticks it for a moment. There's the camera coming in. There's oh the bait, but it doesn't matter. Corey is just too quick. And again, that's the HP differential. Corey was on full health coming into that 1v1. Double digits for... Maybe even try to surprise it again, and they will, because Kadoodle dashed into the market, got the first kill, the entries are coming through, it's a force buy, I called, oh, sorry, it's still the Phantom from the previous round, the rest are on pistols, and they still are able to open up the site for B, for T1. Spike planted. This is huge right now, as they get the spike down, trying to secure round number 12, back behind the boxes, he's getting spammed, Baby Bay goes into the site, and now brings us down to a two-on-one, it stays, and he can't win the fight against Marv. Phase they have gone down for a while on T1's scoreline. As you saw T1 just piling up round after round after round. He almost got away, but he almost got spotted. It was kind of like both could have been terrible. If he held the angle, he might have been able to get one and escape. But this time, though, Dazed 
takes care of the threat of Marv. Wasn't Ten able to beat him left. in the last round in the 1v1 fight. But he is this time. And it looks like we could be going to overtime. It's a two on four retake, but don't count phase out. They've had some impressive retakes in the past. Spider decides to get vertical, goes up on top, and has to watch out. The spam's coming through, and he's been dropped down low. The HP here is far from perfect for the remaining members of T1. The initial peek will come through from Zachary, who's spotted from a player A main. That's Brax, who's just jingle peeking currently. Zachary spotted out, still gets the flick down onto Daze, trying to look for one more target, but they're getting flanked. Zachary has to go for a fresh mag, swaps out to a new gun, pulls for the neural that pistol out, can't get it. We are spotting both of them, just, just seal the deal for them. T1 now finds themselves on the attacking side. And at a player disadvantage, no less. Gonna be working, at least towards A for the time being. The Al drone will go in first. Look how far away the spike is though. That's in Skadoodle's hands. It's across the map. Spider goes for the shadow step this into the site. This is not working out so well for them. It's down now to two. As Baby Bay wants to play with this smoke in A main and get around towards Wine Cellar. Skadoodle and AZK tasked with trying to revive the round. But at this point, it's all over. Skadoodle in a 1v5. He'd have to be able to pull off some... And they're going to try to explode into the site now. Here they go out onto the site. Corey's nade does enough damage to take out Spider. Skadoodle with quick shots coming out from the classic. Has to be careful as Baby Bay was still on site with a frenzy. So the Boombox going back and forth, patrolling the area, looking for targets. Not going to find 30 any. 30 seconds left. Dazed inside Hookah. With working with Brax as well. And it's come down to the two on two. You can see Marv just slowly sneaking in. The classic first. Not exactly what Brax needed in that moment. The shadow step. Currently sitting in purgatory, waiting for the round to end. Dazed does at least pick off one, but Baby Bay is there with a double up on the response. That's three now on the round for Baby Bay. Spider all alone. Spike is down in possession of Baby Bay, who wanted to go for an even more impressive 4K. Couldn't quite finish off Spider, who's now sitting on low HP. But it's a one on three with 30 seconds left. 30 Not really many left. options here for Spider. That's it. Rockus picks up the last. Yep. <laughs> Pick off three coming kills. in from Baby Bay, like you mentioned. Baby Bay now hunting down the ace, and you know he wants it. Gets caught off guard. Doesn't matter. That's four now on the round for Baby Bay. He's looking for the eco round ace. Can't quite get it. Spider says, no, I'm not letting this happen. Now, this is exactly the start we saw from Phase in map. Take is attempted. They still have the hat to come out, too. They are now spotted towards U-Haul. Brax is going to try to press forward, but Rockus slowly is going to even things up, and we'll see if they can work it back. What do they have right now? They have the Alendron from Rockus inside you. They could still use that. They have the powerful operator to go for the trade, and it works out. The advantage swings back in favor of FaZe. Baby Bay gets another one and goes for another kill. What is going on with this man? He's feeling it. I mean, this is this is what we saw. Is that silver lining for the team? To be able to get that opening, and you saw how explosive that was. And there you go. Spider, another opening. Two kills, including Baby Bay on top of that. Yes, of course, FaZe is on an eco. But who cares? As T1, you don't care if they're on guns, no guns, knives. You just want to bring this game back in your favor. So to be able to have somebody like Spider continue to get these openings and, and be crisp on the shots. Speaking of Chris, that's, that's one way to answer. But at least they get a spike plant for T1. And you'll still have FaZe Khan looking to upgrade for some weapons. And with that last kill that just happened from Brax, I think these last two players will attempt to, to save. Okay, maybe not. Marv gets a kill. He gets another one as he drops inside the window. They're looking for the ult. Did he spot the last one? It's going to be Brax. He does get the wall bang, but the defuse is coming through. And they actually get it. Zachary gets the full defuse. Cannot get the kill. Finally, he does for, for T1. A target right to the left. 
Oh, Rockus has him right where he wants him. Oh, we got a little scary there for a second. There was an opportunity, wow. but Rockus plays that one. And you see the aggression from FaZe. If you, you've already got two players pushed through from B, but he wants on the A side, or at least trying to take control of it. Now, Baby Bay getting aggressive with that up and showers, picks off Spider. We talked about how important Spider can be for this I know exactly C1 roster. Baby Bay likely wanted to play with that smoke, but realizes after the neural theft comes through, it's an illogical decision. Enemy tag. Al Drone will put a dart into the planner, giving away his position. And, oh, okay. That's the planter going down. The nade came out. Oh, no. It was a fade away from Corey. I think he threw the nade and they started to rotate, expecting that they might try to take portal. You can see them actually backing off the play. But the nade gets spike the kill planted. on the spike planter. They now have to recommit to that site. Rax is right around the corner, takes a shot through the wall for oh Baby Bay. He's down to 57 HP. This man just does not miss currently. Now that's going to be difficult because he's low on health. Rax is sneaking away remaining. inside the showers, Nine tries to peek back, remaining. and it all falls down to the 1v1. It's going to be Corey versus Daze. Another nade coming up from Corey as the paint shells pop. Tapping the spike knows exactly where Daze is going to be. Phase continue here. And that's going to be an eighth round for them on the defense. I think I think just from watching how Corey is currently fight with Brax is waiting around the corner, ready to be judge, jury, and executioner as they try to make their way through. Zachary will actually be the first one to strike. There's the shotgun coming through. Brax is only gonna get two. As T1 is now at a player disadvantage. The pistols are working out well for FaZe. This is disastrous for T1. Yeah, it didn't look too well for FaZe to start though. Especially when it didn't clear the corner where Brax was at. They still get the uh, the advantage of moving into the site planning and have one, having uh, three on two, but they have two players that are very low on HP. Thankfully, though, for T1, they don't have much utilities or weaponry to work with, and the one that had the weapon just died from the hands of Marv. Skadoodle only with the ghost, trying to tap away. Baby Bay was so low, just one little tap. I'm already confused. But it's actually Baby Bay to pop that ult and fly into the site trying to get into that B site, trying to push up aggressively. Give me those Catching one off guard, and it's Brax who gets diced apart through his cyber cage, so that digital wall can't slow down the knives. And it's a push that comes through successfully for FaZe. T1, again, oh. short-handed on the, oh. the defense, and good lord. Zachary is surgical with the Vandal. Baby Bay now wants the last kill on the round. Skadoodle says, well, at least I can try and prove who's the better jet in the... T1's trying to fight back with whatever they can. It's Guardians, it's Judges, it's it's a good luck. It's definitely a good luck at this point. And Baby Bay, they open up towards the site. You already have from the shadows that spawn. What is Brax looking at? His death. Headshot it now by Marv. Marv continue to push spawn. A second kill onto Spider. So a five versus two. We're looking to seal the deal at a 13-4. It's down to just one more player. It's Daze, and he's trying to do what he can, but it's not going to be 